Ken Silvestri, Broadway Limited Imports, and welcome to our virtual train show. Now, I'd like, I have a lot of stuff to show you. Remember, don't touch. Oh, one other quick thing. This is the first time Jamie and I have, have actually done this where he's, he's taking the, the pictures in well before COVID. Well, let's get started. All right, we have the K7 stock cars in N scale and they come with sound and no sound. Uh, they're very accurate, nice cars, but with the sound, they're even more fun. Um, the sounds we have are cattle and pigs and Christmas music, and, and I won't try to sing that. Um, for the, the sound cars, the faster the car goes, the more agitated the inhabitants become. And I'll tell you, this is one of the most fun products that Broadway makes. Everyone that sees and hears these cars smile. Okay, next we have the N scale Pacifics. And we have a variety of road names as you can see. Your railroad's probably there. That's the one thing great about Pacifics. Um, they're die cast boilers and chassis. The die cast always translates into traction. Quillable whistles, two numbers per road scheme. And just take a look at all the, the different schemes we have and the detail on that end scale. And our end scale sounds fabulous. Oh, these are at dealers now. Same thing with the K7 sound and no sound stock cars. And you can probably buy it at the train show here, somewhere. Okay, next at the show, we have one of my favorite locomotives of all time, and that's the GG1. Now these are die cast, again, weight and traction. Um, these have the drop couple, coupler pilot. And we have three different uh, vents for these locomotives, and they're number specific. Oh, I have a story about Pantagrass, which is interesting. I never knew why uh, the, the Pennsylvania Railroad ran with the back Pantagraph up. And what I learned was that if there was a problem and the, fr the, and the front Pantagraph was up and it broke, it could hit the back pantograph and do a lot of damage. Now these ran at 80 miles an hour, so that's a lot of force. And these are also at dealers right now. Okay, next up are the P70 cars in HO. Great detail inside and out. Of course, they're lighted. Um, operating diaphragms. And we have AC and non-AC versions. And please check out the website. There's, there's more uh, paint schemes available and more information. Okay, next up are the SD70 Aces in N scale. And at Broadway, we, we always strive to make our products better. And these SD70 Aces have improved electrical pickup. And the, the electronics have added capacitance, which we have we, on board instead of adding a go pack there, it's actually in the locomotive at purchase. And that's gonna help you get past any, any rough track. Okay, next up is a brand new locomotive, highly requested, and that's the ATSF 4000 class in HO. Die cast, boiler and chassis, weight, traction. 
synchronized puffing smoke, BLI quality, BLI qual uh, attention to detail, all the stuff that you guys know. And we have road specific details. Now the locomotive on film now is the switcher version. And you can see the front pilot is unique. And the second locomotive was the, the road version. And you can see a difference in the pilot. But look at that detail. These will be available in May. Next, we have two hybrid locomotives, and the first is the UP Early Challenger. Now, this is not the, the Challenger we took orders for some years ago. We have canceled all those orders, and the locomotive is now a hybrid. So, you know, contact your dealer and, and check out where you stand with your orders. And this will be available this fall. And it's, um, of course, it's got smoke, sound, um, and it's fully full brass construction except for the, the chassis. And the chassis is die cast. And the die cast chassis give you precision, weight and traction, and that's, probably the biggest reason why Broadway Brass runs. Do this May is the Dreyfus Hudson. And that's familiar to everybody. And just take a look at it. it it's, it's one of my favorite locomotives and one of the most iconic uh, American locomotive of all time. From the color to the design, it's just an extraordinary locomotive. Henry Dreyfus. Okay, next up is the EM, EMD GP20. These will, will be available this May. Uh, these are all new, um, die cast chassis, plastic top, ABS top, but I want you to look at the many road specific details and they're accurate for each railroad that we make. Um, and let's just look at some of the parts here. Up top, we have the, the sheet metal brow the Prime Strato Light, the Sinclair Excalibur Antenna, Turbo Exhaust, Air Conditioner. And again, these are, are specific for each railroad. All wheel pickup, of course, our sound, our operation or attention to detail. And they'll be this May. And I'll bet there at this show, there's someone taking orders for it. Get your orders in. Well, thank you for coming to our virtual show. Uh, I sure hope the shows start back soon and we, we get to meet face to face again.